when I receive items to uh, check out, I generally try to put them through all its paces, and this one's no different. This one's a waterproof Bluetooth solar powered speaker, and I'm going to do that. I'm going to get this one wet. I'm going to throw it in the pool and see if it leaks. But we're first going to take it apart and then get it wet and see if it leaks after taking it apart. This one should be an interesting one. I have here the Archer or Archer, however they pronounce it. This is a portable Bluetooth solar powered speaker. This one's the model ES T80. Comes with a couple connecting cords so you can connect it either by Bluetooth or plug it into your headphone plug if you have one. Comes with a charging cord as well and a little hand strap. And here is the speaker itself. We're going to pair this to the phone and uh, see how this one sounds. I call these Bluetooth devices. It also allows you to answer and make phone calls with it. So it's a full, not just a, a media speaker, but it'll allow you to use all the features of your, of your phone. Um, lets you uh, also change tracks and so forth. Just looking at the specifications here. Here's the specs for it. So its Bluetooth spec is 4.2, it has a range of 10 meters or 33 feet, and your audio input is Bluetooth or auxiliary, it'll support to AAC, MP3, and SBC stereo, it has a signal to noise ratio of greater than 75 dB, distortion of 0.1%, and output power of 5 watts, it's a 4 ohm speaker, 52 millimeter, frequency response, 100 hertz to 18 kilohertz, and the operating voltage 3 to 4.2 has a 3.7 volt 2000 milliamp hour lithium battery. It'll charge 5 volts at 1 amp and the solar panel is 100 milliamps. Playback time is 20 hours at 50% uh, volume. Charge time is 3 hours. And they're saying here that uh, a half hour charge on the solar panel, which is on this side, will give you 30 minutes of playtime. It's designed for outdoor use, so something like this you could stick it outside and leave it there. It is uh, water resistant. You can mount it, it's a standard quarter inch uh, bolt mount, so you could mount the thing up on a wall for example, or hang it and leave it outside. And when it's sunny out, it's going to charge the battery. So you'd want to leave it so that this side would be facing towards where the sun is going to be. So something like this you could leave outside and it would be charged ready to go when you went to use it the next time or you can always just charge it up by plugging it in. And here's where the aux cord goes. Obviously, if this if this uh, cap is open, you're gonna probably lose your water um, resistance. But if you're using it as a Bluetooth speaker, it can sit out in the rain and it's not gonna hurt it. So let's uh, set this thing up and see how easy this one is to pair. So to pair this, just looking at here, Bluetooth connection, this is long press the power switch for more than one second and when it's off and it will enter, it will give you a, a, a beep, a beep toot beep and a Bluetooth voice mode showing the powers on to get to Bluetooth mode. So let's just try that. I got my my old Samsung phone here. I don't think it's turned on. I don't use this for anything other than for music so or for testing stuff. So let's turn this thing on, get this ready to go. Nice cracked screen, huh? That when I only took one drop, one drop, and my S3, my old S3 that I use for music is uh, showing its uh, its age and didn't even drop it that far. It fell about two feet, and the screen cracked. Okay, now this thing's ready to, well, almost ready to go. We'll turn on the Bluetooth speaker by long pressing. Bluetooth mode. And it's now in Bluetooth mode. If you and the light is flashing blue on the front here. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a blue light flashing. So I'm just gonna go into uh, Bluetooth setup. So I'll go to settings on my phone here and make sure that Bluetooth is on and then we'll search for this device. So scan. And it says EST80, which is going to be this one. 
we connect to it and it is now paired simple as that now if I go to my music and play it I can play through the speaker I can say that the sound quality is actually not bad at all it's only a mono speaker but it actually has pretty good bass I can adjust the volume by the buttons on the top as you can hear I'm just going to uh, change tracks here so it doesn't sound bad actually for a mono speaker I, obviously I can't play this for any length of time here because uh, we're gonna get to uh, pop for copyright if I'm not careful because I don't have royalty free music on this phone at the moment but uh, I've just been listening to it a bit here it's actually actually sounds pretty good I want to see what this one uh, looks like inside so let's just uh, pop the top off it and take a look at how well this one's built this one's looks like it's held together with uh, with the good old hex keys it's the the, the um, unit feels to be made out of either silicone or rubber this is they say it's shockproof, you can it'll bounce. Uh, they say it's shockproof, drop proof, waterproof, and uh, it's designed for outdoor use. But it feels to be like the rubber sidings on it here, it's glued down to, peel it off. It feels to be fairly well protected. I think that if we pull out these screws here on the side and on the back in front of it, it will probably open up and I'll probably break the water seal but hey that's what we do here right we take things apart to show how they're built so let me just find something to take this apart with this should work whoops Okay, well that just takes the the grill off the front. I was hoping this thing was going to come apart, but maybe I have to take the back side off. Interesting. Still doesn't come apart. Should. Maybe you have to take out the uh, take off the rubber. It was glued on at one time. It's not anymore. This thing appears to be actually glued together. Interesting. Very interesting. It's not. Uh, I figured for sure this was just gonna pop apart but uh, oh there we go the back does come off of it it's got a gasket on here too I'm sure the waterproof is just I just voided the warranty I'm sure <laughs> oops that wasn't supposed to happen that plug was supposed to come undone but it actually pulled right off and left the pins on the board so we'll have to put that back on but uh, here's the little amplifier make sure that I make note of which way this goes on okay we'll just leave it on like that here's our battery in this one it is a standard 18 looks like an 18650 type cell uh, looks like there's some protection on the cell here as well. It can, feels like a fuse in here. But there's the cell. It's got the solar panel. It's got some silicone around here to seal it up. It's got a rubber seal around the inside here. So I think when I put it back together, it probably will still maintain its uh, its water resistance. Speaker, as you can see, is, is sealed here, and it's a it's a it's a plastic type. Um, I guess it's a Mylar uh, diaphragm, but it's all sealed. 
Here's our little amplifier board, Bluetooth antenna and receiver and amplifier. Construction doesn't look to be too bad on this unit. Everything's nicely sealed up. So say it's got an O-ring that goes all the way around that I'm going to have to put back in here in order to maintain the water resistant or watertight seal. But that should be okay. That should go back in. Just like that. See there's the solar panel. Again it's sealed as well as you can see on the back here this is one solid plastic back with the solar panel is glued to the actual plastic back wires are coming in through here and they're sealed with silicone so that's going to keep moisture out of the unit itself we'll put the base back on this thing Well, there the unit is back together. Let's take it and uh, dunk it and see how well it works. Well, we drop it into a spa. Of course, why would you need a Bluetooth speaker? Well, I don't know, a waterproof Bluetooth speaker. I don't know, because maybe some jerk knocks your speaker into your hot tub. <laughs> and it just keeps on, and it floats. And it just keeps on going. Put it under water, it floats. Waterproof, as long as you keep the, uh, as long as you keep the, uh, the the cover closed for the charge port and the uh, external 3.4, it will actually float, and you can turn it up and listen to it. If you get water in the speaker, it's going to distort the sound. But you get the drift, the gist here that. Um, it's waterproof. You can leave this thing outside and it's not going to hurt it. So accidents happen and in this case accidents aren't going to hurt it. So there's a look at the Archer EST80 waterproof Bluetooth speaker. As you saw we dunked it in the hot tub and it's no worse for wear. I actually left it in there for a good 10 minutes or so and uh, it, ju it just floats around so I'm not advising that you should throw it in your pool but you know accidents do happen and if that wasn't waterproof we would have some problems now I took this thing apart I took it all apart I opened up the seals but even putting it back together it's still keeping the water out so we're gonna take this thing apart again and I've already loosened up the screws here see whether any water penetrated into the unit. So I would expect that there's probably some water around here, which there is. But here we go, open up the, the unit itself. And as you can see, there's no water penetration past the gasket. It's perfectly dry inside, not a drop. Looking good. Circuit board sealed up here. Again, hold it in place so the vibration isn't going to be an issue. It's held down by a couple screws, but it's also got a bead of silicone. It looks like silicone. I see that there's hot glue over here, but this looks like silicone. Actually, that feels like a silicone too. Yeah, that's silicone rubber. That's not hot. That's not hot glue on there. Silicone rubber on here and silicone rubber here and silicone here. So that's actually actually very well done. I was expecting this to be hot glue, but it's not. This stuff is actual. This is actually silicone. You can see how rubbery it is, right? It's not your typical hot glue. This is silicone. They got silicone on a silicone bead down here. Another one on this side here. This is probably around where the oh, that's where the controls are. That's the seal of the controls, and it's also the seal of the uh, the ports. So that's the silicon uh, bead. It probably goes all the way around the. Uh, the buttons on the top to, to keep them waterproof but yeah it looks to be looks well done good going put this thing back together as I say I took it apart first before I tossed it in the hot tub because if it was going to fail it's going to fail after it's come apart and it didn't so I'd have to say that that's a pass by my books 
And I'll just put this thing back together and I can throw this out on my patio. Sit it by the hot tub so that if it gets knocked in, see I won't be the one that does that because I don't listen to music. But my daughter, she's got to have her tunes, right? And she's So I can see that she'll probably be using this thing because she's got to have her tunes wherever she goes. There you go. Thanks for watching. I'll turn this thing off. There you go. It's off. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next one.